The Eurostar Index and Genomics are core elements of the Beef Data and Genomics program. Tommy Moyles is a participant in the BDGP and he runs a 60 cow suckler herd in Ardfield in County Cork. To help to better explain the Eurostar and genomics elements of the programme, we follow the story of one of Tommy's suckler calves from birth right through to a genomic index being made available to the farmer. I always try and tag, tag in wings as soon as I can. Uh, it saves a lot of stress on myself and the animal. Even though it is not a compulsory element of the BDGP, Tommy also routinely records the birth weights of calves. The relevant birth details are recorded in the Animal Events Notebook. Tommy then registers the birth of the calf on the Department of Agriculture website www.agfood.ie. Along with compulsory registration details such as date of birth and sex, the sire and calving ease is also recorded as required by the BDGP. The registration data is processed by the Department of Agriculture and is then sent to the Irish Cattle Breeding Federation ICBF, in Bandon, County Cork. Here the data is processed further and a Eurostar index is generated for Tommy's calf. When a calf is born, its details are passed to the ICBF database. At that point, it will receive a prediction of its future potential. Um, and that is a, a genetic prediction. This prediction uh, in the context of, of, of females and males uh, will, will predict the future potential of that animal if it's used to breed future suckler cows. In the context of pedigree males, it will, it will give an indication as to the future potential of that male to, to breed um, animals for slaughter. The accuracy uh, of uh, uh, an index on a baby calf is entirely based on the accuracy of its sire and its dam at the time that the young calf receives the, the index. So it all depends on the amount of data behind the sire and behind the dam. There are several reasons why an index on an, on an animal change over time. Firstly, that animal itself will, will provide data to the evaluations, such as calving difficulty, uh, birth weights, linear scoring, live weights, carcass performance, and in the context of, of, of a female that goes on to breed replacements, she will have fertility data, maternal weaning weight data, she will have the docility on herself, and also she'll have all the, the information on her calves, such as her calves, live weights, and carcass performance. The ICBF progeny test station in Tully County Kildare is used to collect feed efficiency data on animals. So the information we collect here at Tully is on commercial progeny from AI sires. And the main reason uh, we focus on these uh, AI sires is to increase the reliability behind their genetic evaluations. And their genetic evaluations are the Eurostar indexes for maternal and terminal. All the animals we have here at Tully, at any one time there's 250 animals on site, are selected from farms across the country, from commercial suckler cows. When we take the animals then into the centre, we keep them here for 120 day period. 30 days we acclimatise them to their diet and the next 90 they go on an intensive performance recording uh, period. During that 90 days we monitor how fast they grow, so we look at their average daily gain each week. Uh, we also monitor their feed intake and a feed intake is a very interesting trait for the industry. It's a very hard to record trait, so we have systems here in Tully that can record that information in terms of feed efficiency. Other traits we record at the centre then is some meat quality traits, so we ultrasonically scan all the animals for muscle and fat depth, and we also uh, record the temperament of the animals while they're at the centre. When they finish their 120 days at Tully, all the animals are then slaughtered out of the centre, where we collect further meat eating quality traits, and we also obtain the meat yield on each of the progeny. And the purpose of all this data then is to feed into the genetic evaluations of the sire to allow the farmer make more accurate decisions when selecting bulls to be used on his cows. 
So from, in terms of the results of the work to date, um, when we looked at a group of animals and we based them coming into the centre based on their parents and we ranked them from five to one stars, we found in the 100 day finishing period a 90 euro difference between the five star progeny and the three star progeny based on better feed efficiency and carcass traits. So these animals were more efficient in the finishing period but also at slaughter they were killing out better and leaving more carcass value to the farmer. So that 90 euros was very substantial in a 100 day finishing period. With the addition of DNA information in the form of genomics, an animal's Eurostar index will become more reliable from an earlier stage in its life. Tommy applies a tissue tag to one of his replacement females for the purpose of genomic testing. The tissue sample is inserted into the vial supplied and posted to Weatherby's in County Kildare for processing. The sample is received into the lab, it's then scanned onto our computer system, a notification is then sent to the ICBF that informs them that the sample has been received into the lab. The tissue sample is then taken out of the vial into a 96 well plate. The instrument extracts the genetic material or the DNA from each tissue sample. The DNA is applied to a glass slide or a chip, which is then put onto two scanning instruments, which will provide raw data. The scanning instrument will scan each chip or glass slide and provide the raw data which will be interpreted into the genotype for each sample. The results or the genotypes are then reported back to the ICBF for genetic or genomic evaluations. The animal's genotype data is then sent to ICBF where it is processed. So genomic data is loaded to the database and then quality control checks are applied to the genomic data. One such example of this is a parentage uh, verification step. Accurate parentage is a critical part of the genetic evaluation process. Any errors uh, are corrected where possible. So the genomic data of the animal is then compared to a reference population of well-proven animals, mainly AI bulls. From this data we are then able to determine whether the offspring has inherited uh, desirable genes from its parents. Uh, if it has inherited desirable genes it's likely that its index will increase. Use of the genomic data will increase the reliability of the Eurostar indexes of the animal and lead to more informed decisions on the replacement heifer uh, strategy for the farmer. The animal's genomic index is published and sent to the farmer via the Herd Plus service. So Herd Plus is ICBF's breeding information service. Uh, it offers a range of management tools and reports to farmers to help them to make more informed breeding decisions. Data enters the ICBF database from quite a number of sources such as meat plants, uh, cattle marts, um, AI companies and farmer records. This performance data is then processed and genetic indexes are created. Herd Plus disseminates this information in the form of user-friendly reports such as the calving report and suckler cow reports and various online profiles such as the Eurostar profile and expected calving profiles. One such report which is disseminated through the Herd Plus service is the BDGP Eurostar report. Some of the reports are posted to farmers and all reports and profiles are also available for farmers to access online. Tommy receives a BDGP Eurostar report from ICBF with an updated index on his animals. These are weaning heifers that we will consider for replacements uh, next year. Um, and the genomic index is going to give me that extra bit of confidence. It's, it's an extra tool. It's an extra tool in my armory to, um, to breed a more efficient animal, an animal that will hopefully leave me more profit in the future. 